Hey, it's Aaron from Lego Masters. Hi, this is Christian from Lego Masters. And you're watching Talk Bricks. And you're watching Talk Bricks. Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to Talk Bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus Lego News, where every Saturday I bring you the Lego stories you need to know. This is another crazy week with new 2020 sets from Lego Marvel, Lego Super Mario, Harry Potter, and what are Lego Brick sketches? This video is brought to you by my all-new Lego Masters recap podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. And you can listen to my interview with contestants Aaron and Christian on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and so much more using the links in the description below. And we're doing another round of the weekly giveaway, so be sure to leave a comment about this week's news and subscribe. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up from Zavi, we got the Lego Mindstorms EV3 for 27% off with code EV3. Next from the Lego Movie 2, we've got Rex's Rex Stream Offroader for 43% off, and Ultra Caddy and Warrior Lucy for 36% off. And from Lego Overwatch, we've got the Diva and Reinhardt set for 35% off. And from now through June 7th, you can get the Beach Buggy Poly Bag with your purchase of $40 or more from Lego Shop at Home. And you can find links to these deals and more in the description below. This week, thanks to Yahoo, we got our first look at the rest of the 2020 line of LEGO Avengers summer sets. First up, we've got the Avengers Tower Battle, which should retail for $89.99. The main build, of course, is the Avengers Tower itself, and it's a nice, clean version, larger than the one we got for the Age of Ultron line. There's room to play on each of the set's five levels, and if you look inside, you can even see the Infinity Gauntlet. And there's also some fun opening sections, including this one that holds this cool hover bike. This set includes seven minifigures. First up, we've got the same Black Widow from the new Helicarrier set, as well as the older Iron Man, though this one features a cool booster. This set also comes with a nice new version of Red Skull, which features a really great print. But the minifigures that have got everyone talking are Blazer and Taser, two new Iron Man suits that we've never gotten before. Not to be confused with Blazer and Laser from Dodgeball. Many longtime fans will recognize the Blazer armor as the Hot Rod armor from Iron Man 3, and I really love the design here. And the Taser design looks just like the Blue Steel armor, and I just love that we're getting more designs. And there's two more of the AIM agents. Next up, we've got the Iron Man Hulkbuster vs. AIM agent. This set contains 456 pieces and retails for $39.99. The main build that's starting a lot of discussion in the LEGO community is for the all-new Hulkbuster, which features that shorter, squatter head. And this isn't the first time we've seen a similar design even in the comics and animated shows. And while the head isn't my favorite design, overall I'd say this Hulkbuster looks really awesome, and I love that it's quite unique from the ones we've gotten previously. The two AIM agents also come with some small builds, including this jetpack. This set includes four mini figures, but the highlight of course is the all new rescue armor. Again, the graphic designers did a really nice job here, and unlike the one from Avengers Endgame, this one is based more on the comic book design. The final set is the 18 plus Iron Man helmet, which includes 480 pieces and will retail for $60. Just like the recent Star Wars helmet bust, this one features a nice display stand and some really great bright shiny gold pieces. And while in general I think it looks nice, there are some shaping details or proportions that seem a little bit off to me, but it could just be be that they're based on a different version of Iron Man than we're expecting. Overall, I think the summer line looks pretty exciting for LEGO Marvel, and the three newest sets to be revealed will be available June 1st at Target stores in the US. And speaking of Avengers, thanks to Brickset, we also got photos of the Black Widow and Falcon minifigure pack that's coming out soon. These minifigure packs are usually a nice way to pick up a couple cool minifigures, and it's great that we're getting this exclusive version of an updated comic book style Falcon. And while the wings are a bit simple for my taste, I really love the printing on this new design. Plus, this set includes that great new version of Black Widow, two AIM agents, and a small build. And there's also going to be a new minifigure set for Harry Potter, featuring Hogwarts students. And the best part of this set is that it includes a minifigure from each of the four houses. From Gryffindor, we've got Harry Potter, which features this great exclusive tile of the Marauder's Map. From Slytherin, we've got Draco Malfoy with an apple. From Ravenclaw, we've got a new version of Cho Chang. And from Hufflepuff, we get our first version of Hannah Abbott, plus a small bookshelf build. And I'll definitely be picking both of these up. Next up from LEGO Super Mario, we got the reveal of four new power-up suits that will each retail for $9.99. And these sets are really booster costumes that you can switch out for the original costume from the starter set. First up, we've got the Fire Flower Mario, which features a slightly different design with the white overalls. And with this power-up, you can use the Fire Flower to attack enemies and earn extra coins. Next up, we've got Propeller Mario, which features a nice accurate design, except for that the hat doesn't go around the head. And with this power-up, Mario can earn coins by flying through the sky. Next, we've got Cat Suit Mario, which looks really cute with those ears, though again, it doesn't go around the head. And with the Cat Suit, Mario Mario can earn coins by climbing up vertical surfaces. And finally, we've got Builder Mario with a cool construction hat, though it does feature inverted colors on the overalls. And though it's not something we've seen in the games, this version of Mario can get extra coins by stomping down on surfaces in the level. At only $10, it probably makes sense to pick at least a couple of these up to try them out, though you will need the starter set to make use of them. And if you haven't pre-ordered your starter set and you want to support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up again, thanks to Brickset, we got the reveal of an all-new line called LEGO Brick Sketches, which recreates 
meets classic characters like Batman and the Joker and BB-8 and a Stormtrooper using different plates and pieces in a 2D-like fashion. This line comes from fan-turned-Lego designer Chris McVeigh, who was doing brick sketches before he was ever hired. And it's really cool to see some of his original designs like the Stormtrooper and Batman become official sets. And while just like Brickheads, these aren't for everyone, I really, really love the look of these with all the different plates stacked up. And on the back of each one, there's even a spot to hang it on the wall or a stand that can be pulled out. And you'll be able to pick up these sets starting on June 15th for $19.99. Next up, this week I was lucky enough to get to sit down with Aaron and Christian from this season of LEGO Masters to talk about everything from the show. And there are a couple really great guys to get to talk to, and there was tons of fun behind the scenes stories. And if you want to check out this latest episode, I've left links in the description below. And let me know if there's anyone else from the show you want to hear from. Next up, this week we also got our first look at the June store calendar. The main highlight is from the 1st through the 21st, you'll be able to get this free hot rod build with your purchase of over $85. The build itself has a nice design, but if you've been a longtime fan, you'll of course recognize this more as a minifigure scale of the old model team hot rod set. And I just love how many of these classic things we're seeing revamped these days. And speaking of new takes on old designs, the Brick West Studios project is the latest to hit 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. This project does such a nice job of updating that classic LEGO Western aesthetic to more modern build techniques. But it's also reminiscent of the classic LEGO Studios line, as it features all sorts of movie making gear, which adds some fun as they use these Western scenes as the set for a movie. I'm definitely keeping my fingers crossed for this one, and I'd love to see this one come out as a set. Next up, we're getting some new sets from the LEGO Extra line, which feature an interesting new concept featuring tape. Both sets feature some small builds with some interesting cool parts, but the main play for these sets come from the tape, where you can tape out your own LEGO City Road or make a large body of water. And while certainly these aren't for everyone, I think kids will have a lot of fun here. Next up from LEGO Disney, we got the reveal of Bell's Castle Winter Celebration. For a 4 plus set, I think this one looks really nice and substantial with some great new parts, and of course all the parts are printed. Plus, it's a pretty cheap way to get all these characters. This week marked the release of the LEGO Haunted House set that we broke down last week, and if you were looking to get your hands on this awesome new set, unfortunately it's actually all sold out for the time being. But while you're on LEGO's shop at home, you may have also noticed that the LEGO Education line is now available through this part of the site for the first time. And while these education-based kits are quite expensive, it could be a good fit for a family looking to do something for their kids over the summer. And I remember growing up, I actually did a LEGO Mindstorms program one summer. And if you want to pick up any of these and support the channel, I've left links in the description below. Next up, this week we got news that Legoland Florida would be ready to reopen on June 1st. This is the first Legoland park in the US to reopen since all of the parks were closed at the beginning of this spring. The team at Legoland has put a lot of different procedures in place to try to keep everyone safe and healthy, including opportunities to clean hands, temperature checks, and social distancing. And they encourage people to wear masks throughout the park. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get all the details. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news. And the 2020 set news just doesn't stop coming. Overall, I'm really excited about the new 2020 Marvel sets, the minifigure packs, and I'm still very curious about the LEGO Super Mario line. Not to mention the gallery of brick sketches I'll be starting. So I definitely better start saving. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to watch last week's news video featuring Monkey Kid, The Haunted House, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.